In a normal traffic scenario, the victim's computer will ask on the network for the MAC address, also known as the physical address, of his or her default gateway. A default gateway is basically your router, which is used to connect you to the outside world, aka the internet. The default gateway will provide its MAC address to the victim's computer. The victim will add the default gateway's MAC address into its ARP table on the switch, and then all traffic will go through the default gateway. However, in an ARP poison traffic, the attacker will hijack the ARP messages on the network that was intended for the default gateway. Instead, the attacker will advertise his MAC address to the victim's ARP requests. When the ARP poisoning happens, the attacker's PC will poison the ARP table on the switch. Then the victim will send all internet traffic through the attacker's machine instead of the actual default gateway. Let me show you a demo now of how this works. First, click this button to start the sniffer. Click the Add to List button. Make sure all hosts in my subnet is selected and click OK. This is the uh, default gateway. This is the victim's machine. At the very bottom, click on ARP. Click the Add to List button. ARP enables you to hijack IP traffic between the selected hosts on the left list and all selected hosts on the right list in both directions. If a selected host has routing capabilities, WAN traffic will be intercepted as well. Select the default gateway and highlight everything on the right. Click OK. Click the Start ARP button. Notice the status change from idle to poisoning. All right, let's bring up the victim's computer. So in this example, the victim will attempt to log on to the PHP BB community forum. Unaware of the situation, his sensitive information that he enters in is being captured on the attacker's PC. At the bottom, click on Passwords, HTTP, and here you have it. You can see the victim's username and password. The attacker was able to capture all of it. And that's the demo.